In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify 3 squared times 3 to the power of 3 using uh, an exponent rule that focuses on multiplying powers with the same base. The first thing that we need to keep in mind here is to use this particular rule, the multiplying powers rule, you need to make sure that the base is the same for both of your powers. So in this case, the base, remember, is the 3. Right, that's the number or the factor that is being repeated multiple times. So I'm actually going to expand this out as a way of thinking about it. 3 to the power of 2 means that we've had 3 times 3, and 3 to the power of 3 means that we have 3 times 3 times 3. So there's the 3 to the power of 2, and there's the 3 to the power of 3. So Instead of thinking about this as two separate powers, we can actually put this whole thing together. And when you do that, you can see that really what we have is one, two, three, four, five threes, or three to the power of five. What we, if you look closely, you can see we have a pattern here. Three to the power of two times three to the power of three. Or if you just focus on the exponents up here at the top and if you add those together you can see that 2 plus 3 is actually equal to 5 and that actually gives us our exponent rule in this case so over here I'm gonna write the rule if we have a to the power of m multiplied by a so the bases are the same to the power of n you can simplify that by keeping the base the same and adding the exponents together. So a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So all we're going to do is we're going to do a couple uh, examples just to kind of see how this works. Remember, the key here is the bases need to be the same. So if I have something like negative 2 in parentheses to the power of 3, times negative 2 in parentheses to the power of 8. If I want to simplify that, all I need to do is keep the base the same and add the exponents together. So 3 plus 8, which equals negative 2, still in parentheses, to the power of 11. This also works if we use variables. If I have a to the power of 7, times a to the power of 9, that's going to be equal to a to the power of 7 plus 9, or a to the power of 16. So once again, just by adding our exponents together, we can simplify this particular power. Let's try another one that's a tiny bit more complicated. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 2 to the power of 2 a to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 3 a to the power of 6. In this case I actually have two separate bases. I have a 2 and I have an a. I'm actually going to use the commutative property to kind of shuffle these around. 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3 and a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 6. Now I'll use my multiplication of powers rule, 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 times a to the power of 4 plus 6, which then simplifies 2 to the power of 5 and a to the power of 10. Now, if I wanted to, I could also expand that 2 to the power of 5 to make that 32 a 10, 32 a to the power of 10. And that is how we can use our multiplying powers rule to simplify situations where we have powers with the same base.